are looking at a one of one. What's going on? Bowman1951 here. On the day that Julian Edelman announces that he's got a knee injury and is probably going on IR, I'm about to show off four of the biggest cards that I've purchased of him. Yes, my PC of Edelman continues to grow. When I first started out, I was like, oh, we'll get some cards, serial number 99 or lower. Then I went to like 50, and now 25, and then every single card here, other than the last one, which I... It is serial numbered, but that's not the point of it. it. Is numbered to 10 and below. So we're gonna show off some of those cards that I've recently picked up now. So yeah, my personal collection I think has grown to about 250 cards of Edelman, which is a pretty big chunk uh, over the 10, 11 years now that he's had cards. I think 11 and 12, he didn't actually have any because he was kind of a bench warmer back then. His rookie card is out of 2009. But what we've got here is a 2020 absolute just arrived in the mail today i've already taken a look at it as you can see it's out of the package it's going to be an unsung heroes uh i guess you would call this the gold foil but it is going to be numbered 10 out of 10. i think the guy labeled it as ebay one of one didn't cost me a ton of money but hey i like the numbering the low numbering on this at least and it's cool that we got as close to 11 as we could for the unsung heroes let's take a look at that beautiful shine there in the light and we'll get on to the next one next up is going to be a card that runs with bulls 23 put me on to and i are in a couple of group chats and uh, he told me about this one so found it doing some white sparkle searches for himself that's how i ended up with this one another decent price i think it was below 20 bucks this one out of 2018 this is going to be a prism i already gave you that it's the white sparkle so let's just take a look at that shine here Beautiful card. Again, runs with Bulls23. Check out his Instagram if you want to see some absolutely killer cards. Way out of my price range, but man, that guy adds something good every single week. He's looking at white sparkles of some big boys like Tatum rookies and so forth. I think the print run on these is somewhat known to be about 15, but they can be tough to find. And I'm on the hunt now for some future years of the the prism white sparkle as well for Edelman. All right, two cards left to go. This is gonna be a fairly quick video. I just wanted to showcase these and have them in my memory bank for quite a long time. You can see this one here is die cut. It's also a 2020 card. Let's see if I can do this here. We are looking at a one of one. Die cut, like I said. Got the Dunruss base from 2020, one of one Edelman. I feel like I underpaid for this card. I could not believe that it was the price of a couple blasters. Let's put it that way. So I have not found any Dunruss blasters whatsoever locally here in the Boston area. So just to get this card for a few of those where I probably would have blown my budget somewhere else and maybe ended up with some crap cards. I've now got this in my collection forever. I've already got it on display in my house along with an 11 of 11 I own. Uh, those two cards sit side by side with one another because they are killer pieces to the Edelman PC. Love this one here. That's really showcased the one of one there. Die cut is really cool. Probably not gonna grade it or anything. I love this card. I have stared at it so many times and it's my first true Edelman one of one that's not a printing plate. I'm looking out for more. There's a guy called Hobby Cards on Instagram who owns many of them, including a lot of the, the Black Finite Prisms that I'll never get my hands on, but there are others out there that I'm looking to chase. And lastly, what could be bigger than a one of one? Well, this one certainly costs more money. I think I somewhat mentioned it at the beginning of the video. I have not seen it yet. We are still sealed up here. Let's get into this package. The blade out for it and everything. Just out backwards. If I can. It's not graded. It's in a top order, which is nice. I'm going to pull it off camera here so we can do it backwards. Here we go. We do have some painter's tape on there. Maybe I'll pull that off when I can. As you can see, it is a rookie card. And there's a big 
congratulations there on the back. So what does that mean? Just want to get this off. All right. From Upper Deck 2009, you've received a trading card autographed by Julian Edelman. And I'm fairly certain these are out of $9.99. So they are, we are looking at $7.81 out of $9.99 there on the side. I love that he signs his, his uh, rookie card with, with the 11 there. He was very confident, even back in 2009, that he was going to be JE11. Beautiful addition. My first actual autograph of Edelman, and I don't think he does many. I've seen some on, you know, the dual cards or the quad cards with a sticker auto. So there are not too many on card out there. eBay bucks on this. Uh, I got 5% off with the future eBay bucks. And I think I got 5% off now with my credit card this month. So this was a killer deal. Couldn't pass it up. The guy lowered the price on it. Edelman stuff has kind of been coming down in price this year. Cam Newton is not doing all that well. The Pats are two and four. Uh, you know, Edelman stuff kind of falls in line, and now it might even fall farther. So I'll be looking to grab things. You know, people are willing to reduce prices there on his stuff since he's now on IR. Thanks as always for watching. If you like what you see here, one of ones, Edelman rookie autos, not an RPA. There's no patch in there. That would have been really cool, right? Uh, hit that like and subscribe button to my channel. You'll see more of this in the future. I PC Tom Brady too, and Patriots, Red Sox, Celtics, along with do a lot of grade reveals. You've seen the card show videos. Many of you come to my channel for that. Look to do those as the pandemic slowly goes away. Hopefully, eventually, we'll, we'll be back to normal. But uh, you know what? We'll see you at the next video. Boom in 1951. Out.